Hey, how are you guys? Pallav here and today I have the new BlackBerry Leap. This is the new touchscreen device from the Canadian mobile phone giant and they actually unveiled it during MWC in Barcelona but um, in a separate event actually. They didn't showcase it um, during the Mobile World Congress there so we could not make a video but now it's in India. It's already available in the market for just over 21,000 Indian rupees and let's check out what's in the box you have a very typical brilliant classy and small blackberry box here black color yeah so you have some information all there everything uh, not much marketing or import or pricing information there once you open the box however you'll see the blackberry lip uh, which you'll find is strikingly similar to some of the earlier BlackBerry touchscreen devices. We'll come back to the device just in a bit. Here you have some other manuals and quick start guides. And they say start here in various languages. Lots of guides really. Also a Snapdragon advertisement because this guy has a Snapdragon chipset. You have your earphones there which are not exactly premium silver plated audio jack you have mic and call control but no volume control and then you have the wall charger which is let me just check it's 1300 milliampere round pin wall charger and micro usb 2.0 cable so that's about it in the box all that we ex expected are there so there you go that's the brilliant looking blackberry leap now don't get me wrong it's all plastic here and glass many people do not like plastic devices however i actually like the design and build quality and the overall styling of blackberry they do not give much emphasis on um you know striking colors or uh, i mean you can say metal or glasses all those stuff but because they uh, mainly try to place this device as simplistic classy and business like i mean in a serious in business kind of a device so uh, the whole look and design concept actually fits in there and i like it from that point of view you have a 5 inch screen hd resolution and then your 2 mp front camera and 8 mp autofocus back camera accompanied by an led flash your blackberry <coughs> branding their speaker grill below you'd have the shortcut keys here you'd have the sim card and the micro sd card slot it takes only one sim below you would have the micro usb 2.0 port and the mouthpiece and then your volume rocker and a voice command button there and power button 3.5 mm jack a secondary noise cancelling mic you cannot remove the back flap this guy has a 2800 mh battery this pack has a very nice um, you know rubber coating over plastic and you have a nice texture that give a brilliant grip of the device in your hand so despite of being a 5 inch device it actually fits very comfortably um, into your palm uh, overall i absolutely love the device the only downside for me kind of it's not a downside just a rough at the edge kind of a thing which is that very glossy screen attracts lots and lots of fingerprints and darts there so this guy is powered by a snapdragon s4 plus chipset good enough for the blackberry 10.3 os overall um, because they really need the hardware and software very tight so you won't see much like i'm going to give you a tour of the user interface just now it has 2 gb of ram and 16 gb of internal storage now let's check out the user interface now if you've already seen blackberry os 10 dot three then there's not much to show out here but for new users those are the notification panel and this thing and then once you lock it you can also make the phone go sleep and then you can uh, set a wake up alarm you can also tap it here just to see all the notifications just from there tap any on the notification and then you can uh, open it this is called blackberry hub let's see and this workflow this process is called blackberry peak now all the blackberry users will know it of course and then you have 
uh, your app so uh, there are well some third party apps like facebook twitter linkedin foursquare but they see uh, only the most used one they do not have unnecessary apps like you know your chatting apps and those kind of things um not those partnerships but some things that people usually use foursquare i'm not sure how many people use nowadays but still so you have blackberry's in-house apps as well like bbm and blackberry world and all let's go ahead the settings and then check out the about device so there you see that's uh, what you get in the storage 5.6 let's just check the detail of the storage so you can see it says 10.11 gb app 620 that so out of 16 gb i would suppose that you get roughly over 12 12.5 gb which is actually very very good you have lots of notifications options and all and then that's how you basically pin your already using apps here so that you can quickly go ahead and open those if you want to close any of this very very simple let's check out the camera so where do we have the camera so there's the 8 mp camera there and i already have the settings on for you have the normal and time shift mode you know which you know the moment you press it it's actually gonna take two three from two three seconds before two two three seconds after the snap was taken so that you do not miss the moment in case that has just happened um you know before or after you press the shutter button then your normal mode burst mode panorama and all those stuffs it's quite fast you see although not zero lag but it's quite fast you can start your video from here and then you can take still you can also have at night the video light that's the led on you cannot pause the video though so we've checked the uh, audio and video quality we're generally not very impressed with the blackberry cameras uh, this camera is also um, not much different from the earlier cameras the details are there though under enough light uh, but if you zoom in you would see um, noise and also well um if you want to print it for a magazine then probably this camera mm, you know may not be enough but uh, personal print should be okay and this definitely um, good for social media uploads the videos are also crisp with uh, almost no fuzziness there's slight softness towards the edge um, during low light the details drop drastically So you can see brilliant speaker output it's loud enough it has bass it has probably slightly and actually the accurate amount of treble Yeah, but whenever you place this device on the flat surface, the sound kind of gets obstructed. You see? And then we'll check out a video. There you go. And we'll see how the screen is. 5 inch screen, HD resolution, nothing much to talk about. But you can see a decent viewing angle there. But the colors kind of just start to disappear about here. Again, good surround sound. So overall, it's a good movie viewing uh, machine, I would say, because the uh, display is bright enough the surround sound is brilliant plus the uh, speaker output is very very good and loud enough even for a group of people uh, and what else so you have your 
dialers and the usual messaging and other app so um, as I told you before the BlackBerry OS 10.3 does not almost does not lag at all I mean um, you know you see how many windows I have open here we have a lot more we have had a lot more uh, windows open than those but still our device wasn't lagging that's a great deal and that's the beauty of a proprietary uh, OS because the company really knows what they're doing and they can actually knit the software and the hardware real real close um, the battery, the 2800 battery is actually brilliant and only the HD resolution helps that it actually gave us about um, I think quarter to 11 hours of battery of slightly more than moderate usage which is brilliant beyond your office hours so that's a really good amount of time. So then should you get the BlackBerry Leap? Well first thing first this is not a radically different device than the ones before I'm not talking about Passport or Q10 but um, it's it's like um, it's a lot like the Z10 or the Z30 um, which is not necessarily a bad thing because you I mean you know you should not change something that's actually working for you and these touchscreen devices actually are increasing the overall revenue of BlackBerry that's a good thing 22,000 I think at this point of time is slightly more expensive than usual because you get an Android phone with almost the same specs for I think about or more than 10,000 uh, cheaper than this one. There is a uh, very favorable air about BlackBerry in the business circle in general. So people generally, um, those business people or corporate people who have been using BlackBerry for long generally do not want to go away from it to another OS. So BlackBerry has a really strong loyal base. Um, but apart from that if you're open to any os let's say even uh, android or ios you don't get an ios at this price point uh, maybe the cheaper one 5c or something uh, i would not recommend buying those but if you're open to the os either android or blackberry you can get a much better device a much better spec sheet or camera in an android device at this price point but you might not get the lag free um, you know very smooth fluidic user interface you might not get the brilliant back and the overall form factor and design here so that's something to take a note of if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything re related to the blackberry leap and we'll try to answer them all in the comments and please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love thank you